All right, first things first, we gotta get this mode this morning. So let's just, well, actually, let's spin this around. There we go. Now that looks better. What's up YouTube, Shane Heath here, and I'm back with the video a lot of you have been waiting on. This is the sprayer video. This is that most affordable sprayer that you can get that's gonna have the best quality. I think it's the best of both worlds and you're really gonna enjoy this. And it's gonna be a product a lot of you actually don't even know about. So I'm glad I can get here and get the word out for you and show you a great product that's not super expensive because a lot of you people don't wanna go buy a flow zone that's 200 something dollars to 300 something dollars. This is very similar, but will save you a lot of money in the long run. So make sure you don't go anywhere because right after this intro, we're gonna show you that spray. I'm not gonna waste no time to talking about it. So let's go. So the sprayer we're actually going to be talking about today is going to be the spray mate this is the tornado which is the four gallon and there's also going to be a storm two and a half gallon which is a little bit smaller for me i have a huge yard i have 20,000 square feet i had to spray so a four gallon tank is really what i need but some of you don't have a yard that big so a two and a half gallon storm is going to be perfect for you they're the same exact thing except just the tank size so let's actually jump right into the features here so spray mate is actually made by the same parent company that makes flow zone so this sprayer has the same internals as the flow zone sprayers do same pumps and everything, same batteries, I think. They even go across the, using the same battery, same charger. The only thing different you're gonna notice is the wand. You're not gonna have a metal wand, you're gonna have a carbon fiber wand. So they're gonna save a little bit of money there. And the handle's a little bit different, but also still a great product. And now you have a five foot hose here. I don't know if the straps are any different between this and the flows on. I had to look it up. If not, we'll see. First things I noticed when I started using this, the lid here is the same lid as the flows on. It's a nice big lid that you can pour your liquids into. You don't have to worry about dumping them everywhere. Also has this handy wand storage here on the side that it locks in. You can get it off of here if you wanted to, but honestly, when I picked this up, I actually have a secret I'll show you later of how you can put a four gallon backpack sprayer on when it's full of water. Cause these things are heavy and it's hard to get it off the ground and up to your back. And I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but it's still a pain in the butt to get it off the ground on your back. So I'm gonna show you a secret to it. You're never gonna put this wand back in here after it's on your back, you're gonna be holding it. So I only use that wand holder for storage just to keep the wand from getting broke. When actually when I'm putting it on, I leave the wand loose so I can actually grab it after I get the backpack on. And this sprayer has a two speed pump. You have a high and a low speed. I can't remember the PSI's. I think it's like 65 or 60 PSI on the high speed and 40 or 45 on the low speed. I put them on the screen. Now I've used this sprayer several times now. I've probably sprayed 100,000 square feet so far. And the first thing you're gonna notice is it is pretty comfortable. If you adjust the straps, now the straps here, if you look, there's a strap loop on top here, but I moved them down to the lower one here because it seems to hold it in the crest of my back better. The straps are pretty comfortable and, and there's a little bit of padding on the back here. It's not really gonna do a whole lot for you, but it's better than just having a straight plastic tank on your back. But the straps are comfortable. And there is a center strap here that you can lock in to help hold them together. I don't really ever use it, but it's probably a little more sturdy if you do. Now I do need to go ahead and say that Spraymate did send me this sprayer. Um, I told them I'd do a review for it, so they went ahead and sent me one. This is the last one they had in stock. Actually, this was a demo model. These should be back in stock by the end of this week that this video comes out. That's what I was told. So if you're looking to get one of these, give it a couple of days before you go check them out or check back if you do. Now, even though they did send me this sprayer, I'm gonna give you an honest review. Like I've always said in my past videos, this is gonna be the no BS here. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about it. I'll put links below, those will be affiliate links, so if you want to get one, you can go check them out. Alright, so now once you have your sprayer full of water and it's sitting on your tailgate or on your trash can, something elevated, that's the easiest way for you to get it on your back. Take your strainer, throw it in, add your products, whatever you're going to spray. Now we're not going to go into how you need to mix and dilute all your chemicals in a sprayer, there's plenty of videos out there for that. Now if I had to knock spray mate for one thing, it's going to be this lid. Now it tightens up and goes on just fine, but the problem is it doesn't go straight. Like no matter how I start it and put it on, it never ends up in a straight line across here. And that just bothers my OCD, but that's not really that big of a deal. Now you get everything mixed up, you're on your, your sprayer here. You just take the squat down on your tailgate, you take your straps, put your straps on, stand up. You have your sprayer. You only have to lift it just a few inches. And it, honestly, if you have a bigger, taller truck, it's actually even easier to get it on your back or your trash can. My trash can stands taller. I could just back right up and put my straps on and be good to go. And the same thing to take it off. That's the best way to handle a four gallon sprayer and not tear your back up. And now the sprayer does come with this little uh, strainer in the top here. This is smart to use. Some of your iron products will have like flakes that they'll leave in here and that can clog your sprayer. So now these here are your two tips that come with this. You got your fan tip sprayer, which is like your normal sprayer that you're gonna use for most applications. So this is like a stream sprayer, it's adjustable. This will actually shoot like 25 feet, I think, if you need to spray up in the top of trees or something. But for most everything in the lawn, you're gonna be using your fan tip like this. And I haven't ordered a T-Jet tip replacement for this yet because I really wanted to use what come with it like the common homeowner would do. And 
now this tip does just fine. You really won't need another one unless you just want to, or if you're one of those guys that goes the extra step here, but pretty much everything I spray, I can put down with this fan tip. And I'll show in the footage here, if I hold this at waist height, I spray about a 60 inch stream here. So with my Toro Time Master, it's two stripes. So it's the perfect way that I can stripe my yard and then come back and spray. I know exactly where I've been and where I haven't. So now when you first get one of these sprayers, I highly recommend you take and fill it up with water like I just did. And you go practice spraying your yard. That way you can practice how fast you need to walk before you run out. That's the easiest way to calibrate it. And yes, I am wearing shorts and flip-flops in this video, but this only contains water. There's no chemicals in here whatsoever. But if you are spraying your yard with chemicals, you need to make sure you wear the appropriate protection. You need long pants and some type of boot on, or a good pair of shoes you don't care about getting stained. But you always need long pants. And sometimes it even helps to have long sleeves on. Now I've actually sprayed my yard probably five or six times now. I did it two or three times with water. And I don't even think I've used a full battery charge yet. I charged it one time and actually had only gone down one bar and I had sprayed five times. So I sprayed what, 120,000 square feet. Well, about 100 to 110, 115,000 square feet because I didn't spray my whole yard. But I sprayed that and only used one notch of the battery. So this thing will last forever on battery life. So even if you forget to charge it, you should be good the next time you use it. And I've noticed that even when it's sitting up, I come back, the battery's still holding the charge. It does very well with that. And now I know this sprayer comes in just a little bit more expensive or just a, or at least around the same area. Some of the sprayers you can go pick up at your big box stores. Now the only thing with those is I'm not really kicking them because I also haven't tried them. But at the same time, I want to know I bought a sprayer from a company that solely builds sprayers. I don't want to buy a sprayer from a company that builds shovels and hand tools and things like that also. So I'm actually going to give it two thumbs up and I'm going to give it a stamp of approval because this thing's awesome. I've been spraying the crap out of my yard and I love it so far. It makes me want to get out here and spray even more things my ortho dialing sprayer which is still a great option if you don't want to spend this money yet actually crapped out and it's been hit the trash can since then so this was perfect timing that i got this because i'm not going to be dragging hoses around anymore and trying to use an ortho dialing sprayer to try to spray my yard anymore now this thing does very well too when it comes to getting all the product out that it can it only leaves just a little bit i'm going to show you right here i'm going to put about one gallon of water in here i'm just going to let it run until it runs out and i'm going to show you how to actually pull the stream down a little bit but it's still pumping i'm actually going to flip it over and show you everything that comes out and just what's left in here it's just a little bit it does very well pumping all the product out now there is a little pickup valve in the bottom there and i'll show you that when it comes it's probably going to be turned straight up so you're going to need to turn that thing and make sure it's pointing straight down. And what it is, it's got a little bitty gap under it that's perfect for just sucking up every bit of water that it can without leaving a lot of excess in the tank. And now, honestly, I don't think I can sit here any longer and explain any more detail or say any more good things about this sprayer. I love it so far. It's become a staple of my lawn care program in just the two weeks that it's been here. So make sure you hit subscribe because you're going to want to see future videos using this. We're going to be putting out a lot of products with it. I've been wearing it out lately, to be honest with you. And now if you were looking for a backpack sprayer, I hope this helps you out here. This is a great battery powered sprayer. I hope y'all have a great week. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my Sunday with my family. And we got July 4th coming up, so everybody be safe, have fun, and we'll catch y'all next weekend. This is Shane Heap, checking out.